praise the Lord. As we pray, thank you for this spirit. Because this morning is your time. And we need your wisdom today to realize how important is the unity of the body of Christ. And thank you also that you are here ministering to each and every one of us. With your word and through your wisdom, we may understand this unity of the body of Christ that for so long our Lord Jesus Christ prayed for it. Bless us all together, your servant, your word, and the people in Jesus' name. Amen. Palakpakan na doon. Palakpakan na doon tayo so. Mahalta kasi po, abor na doon eh, kaya isdam ni inyong katubang karoon. You know, I really love Cebu. Because my first launching in the ministry, 33 years ago, there is a Cebu. Ipadala ko sa ministry. Somewhere in San Reguillo, Northern Cebu. Dab-dab. Sa Bogor, dito sa ako, the one's last time na niabot ko niri, first time ko naka-experience of vacuum. And that was signal number two. Kaya sa Dabao, wala lang yung vacuum. O ito nga, termero na kong abot sa lugar na kahilan ko. Ay bata pa ko ano. I think I am only... 19 or 20 years old. Ingon ko, makaulay pa baga kong Mindanao ane. But then God, nakaulay pa ko, kaya nakabalik pa ko karoon. Palagpaka na itong ginoon. You know, what we are going to tackle today about this community of the body of Christ. If there is what we call last call for the gospel to be preached to all the world, to the nation, especially in the Philippines, there is what we call an urgency call for the body of Christ to be unified. Let's open our Bible in Ephesians chapter 4, verse 16. It says there, from whom the whole body faithfully joined together and compacted by the which every joint supply, according to the effectual working in the measure of every part, make it increase of the body unto the edifying of itself in love. Ang Diyos magapanalangin sa iya ang Lord. Sometimes it may sound impossible for the church or the body of Christ or the Ecclesia to be one. But until such time, I read John 17.22. Nabasa na ko ang John 17.22. Jesus prayed, He said, Father, the glory that you have been given to me, I have given to them, the body. That they may become one because you and me are one. Then when I found out the prayer of Jesus, wala na ko nagaampo o unity. Because there is somebody who is powerful, who is praying for unity. Then I said to God, Lord, what will be our part for this? 